don't care. Way to kill the atmosphere! Shit, another one! Uh She looks cheery. Uh Uh no, Okay, we gotta we gotta try to get a higher voice here. Ah, Big Papa, what a nice surprise! There you go, there you go, we got all our voices. I'm gonna forget middle girl. Girl three is her, right? Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. Yup. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. <laughs> ah, this I got trolled. This is not a scary game. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. You look a little young. Sorry. Natsuki. The girl with a sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes according to Sayer. Okay, she might be my best friend now. She made cupcakes. Oh uh, shit, I already forgot her voice. You could just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayer says that quietly into my ear and turns back to the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri. Yeah, <laughs> it's Yuri. Where's Yuri? It's missing the Y. That's gonna be awkward. It's Yuri, the smartest in the club. Did purple eyed, or purple eyed, purple haired girl just close her eyes? Is that, that must be Yuri. That's a cool name. Look at her hair. That is goddess length, man. Don't, 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 don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears compar uh, comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. This sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right! Ah! I thought that was from the game at first. Gups! Ah! That gave me flashbacks to last year, dude. I don't know if you were around for that, but that game was a nightmare. Oh! Say so take it for the bitties! Num 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 num. That game was nightmare in VR. Holy crap. I never beat that one. It was too scary. Oh, excuse me, that was rude. I hope you guys didn't hear that. Excuse me. Also, that total of zero months is broken, and I keep fixing that, and it keeps getting reverted, and it's driving me insane. Anyway, that's right. It's great to see you again, Big Papa. That's right. I like it when you call me Big Papa. Bounce. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we really talk. Oh, wait. That's Sayori's voice. Oh, this is me talking internal monologue. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, sweet. She's sporty. I doubt that. Basically, completely out of my league. Yup. She's got cool hair, too. So having her smile at me genuinely feels a little... Oh, this is me. Y you too, Monica? Come sit down, Big Papa. I made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Fuck yeah. Bring seven. Hey! I made him! I'll get him! Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Fuck yeah, cupcakes and tea! The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been wide or widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki, or Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. I didn't get to choose who to sit next to. The KFC game I got to choose. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! It's a penis cupcake. <laughs> I shouldn't make that joke. She looks too young. What are you doing, Jada? Hey, what are you doing? He's like crawling under my legs. Whoa! 
That's ridiculous. The foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Okay, that's different. The whiskers are drawn with icing and a little piece of chocolate we used to make ears. Ben. Friends! Crimson! How's it going, my friend? Welcome to the stream! Thanks for dropping in. Yeah, look at we got all these adorable anime girls here. So cute! I when she said so cute, it made me think of Voltius because she says so cute a lot, and I heard it in her voice. I had no Oh wow, I forgot her voice already. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki! <laughs> you know! I keep changing her voice. She sounds more and more like a rat person every time I do her voice. <laughs> Just hurry and take one! Siri grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Siri talks with her mouth full and she's already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Dude, just... Hum, hum, screw that. Hum. Is it like, as soon as you... Hum, I didn't get one, and you get a second one. This guy obviously does not have my mentality when it comes to food. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glasses, glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Probably. Finally bite down. Hum. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thinking me? It's not like I... Because that's what people say when you give them things. Jeez. Just got off work? How was work? Sari is so sweet, but Natsuki... Yeah, I'm not liking... This one's Natsuki, right? She's kind of a butt. I haven't heard this somewhere... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Uh, I th thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe! But not for- You know, you dummy! Alright, 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 alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Dude. I like her. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Yeah. I, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. That's okay. I like her. Oh no! Look what you did! You made her shy and nervous. For shame. <laughs> that's... That... Oh, well, wrong voice. That, 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 that's not it. That's not it. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles at herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you join? Made you consider the literature club? Did I change her voice? I think I did. Whoops. Um... I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori really seemed happy here, so... Keep bouncing the music and it's throwing me off. That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? There we go, I think I found her voice again. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity or... Yeah, publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. That's nice. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Aw. Monica really is a great leader. Their voices are very similar. Here he also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. 
It must be hard to start a new club. You could put or you could put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Oh, she's a good leader. Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it! <laughs> she, she's a little rat person in my brain now. Monica is best girl, and Natsuki is a close second, and really? Oh, I, I don't like Natsuki. I, and plus I gave her a rat voice on accident, so uh, I, messed, <laughs> I messed that up. <laughs> Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why we're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about, li about literature. So, Big Papa, what kinds of things do you like to read? Uh... <laughs> well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I muttered quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but it keeps quiet. Did she like manga? That would give her some brownie points. <laughs> not much, or not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Oh no! Don't break her heart. I like her. I like her little purple thing in her hair. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually the novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Hell yeah! The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. Let her keep talking, man! I love hearing about people's passions. That's when, like, the one time you can actually see someone truly glow and be in their element when they talk about their passions. I love it. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. What did I just say? But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually, usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Okay, is it really a horror game? Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can read to it at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be a having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh! I hate horror! Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind! That's right. You usually like to write things about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Like puppies? What? What gives you that idea? You make cat cupcakes. You, you left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. This is super scary. I'm terrified of anime girls. Are you? No, you're not, Mifa. No, you're not. No way. Or wait, are you terrified in the other way of like, <sighs> like, or are you actually scared of them? And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Siri slides up 
Behind Natsuki, he puts her hands on her shoulders. Aw. I'm not cute! What's with the little bow thing? Like, if you pushed her eyes right now together, just... They would make the hair thing. Natsuki, you write your own poems. Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I'm making conversation, damn! I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N oh, no! Friend. Uh, bug. Hello, friend! Oh, you're kidding? Okay, I thought you were. You have definitely been making Natsuki's face more and more gremlin-like. I can't help it. <laughs> she looks like a gremlin. Like, in my mind, she has gremlin voice. <laughs> also, how come your hello friend just alert just went off? That was super delayed. I'm very confused. I'm learning the song. I like it. Oops, I did it. I, I clicked out of things. All right, and now I got to see if the game is locked up again. No! Okay, it's not. My answer web's not down. Oh! Yeah, but... You popped in earlier and got your alert. And the alert only ever goes off once a stream, no matter if... Unless my stream goes down. Like, my internet goes down. It should only go off, but yours didn't go off before? Am confused. I do like the music. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. Yeah, that's pretty personal. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deep reaches of your heart. Yep. Do you have writing experiences too, Yuri? Maybe if you share- Whoa, I changed her voice too. I, it's hard for me to go that high pitch with her. Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I'm pretty sure that's Sayori's voice on accident. I only have like two girl voices and it's hard for me to make four. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Read everyone's poems. Yeah, see? Monica's voice is higher. And more spunky. And I, dang it, this is hard. I'm not a voice actor, guys. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. There it is. I have an idea for everyone. Nat and Yuri. Oh, I like calling her Nat. That's much better. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. I messed up her voice again. Let's all go home. I can't. Fuck. Dude, her voice is going to flip-flop between her own and Siori, so I'm sorry. The next time we meet, we'll all share some with, we'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Aw, Sayori's cute. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think we'll help us all get out of a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Ah, uh, look at she's a great leader. Isn't that right, Big Papa? That's right. Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Eh? Er. Eh? What's that? Also, oh, 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 oh. I forgot about this. So I had a friend... A buddy of mine tell me that when I play this game, I needed to open the the uh, install directory. I don't know why. I don't know, but he said just keep this open when the game's running, so move this over here. Oh, man, I'm running out of room. All right. I don't know why. Okay, whatever. It's open. Um, all right. Uh, now I can't see my stuff. All right. You can see things just barely. 
the music changed. They came with like a different horns or something. <laughs> 